That's class. Right, so. So yeah, these reviews that we keep doing, um, there, there's been no structure to it. It's not, uh, uh, it's not a technical, you know, in-depth. We did, we did think like, oh, should we structure it a bit better and tell people loads and loads of technical details? But then we thought, no, oh, if there's load, if you want to learn about all the every technical specification of a car, Google it. Do you know what I mean? We, uh, this is just us driving cars around, just talking. Two lads. I mean, uh, yeah. but today's a bit different because it's uh, my own personal car. So, but it's a different car. It's not, you know, they're not. There's not. We like to. Hundreds of them on there. the roads, is it? Oh, look at that. Another what? Mustang. Oh, yeah. A bullet. That's a bullet one. Nice. Nah, so I should go card him. Uh, for those that don't already know, and I've not already seen it, I'm part of a SMUK Simply Mustangs. And every time I see a Mustang, I'm like, are they in the group? Do I need to card them? Give them a card. I do like those bullets. Uh, where was, oh yeah, so you can do whatever you want to a Mustang really, um, but I mean the only thing I didn't like with the bullet, I mean it's lovely as it is and you wouldn't want to change it, but you can't, because if you change it, it's not a bullet anymore, is it? Do you know what I thought the other day? You know how, how people do um, sleeper cars, like they'll put a, a 5 litre V8 in a Corsa or something, mm. or something mad like that. Yeah, yeah. Has anyone ever done a reverse sleeper? So get like a Mustang and then take the V8 out of it and put like a a one liter in it or something <laughs> <laughs> with a bean can exhaust. <laughs> and no, I don't, I, I don't think you would. That'd be kind of, would you? Sacrilege. Yeah, but just be, just be funny, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Brief it, and then you get bored of not going anywhere. You'd probably get laughed at a lot as well by a lot of people. Oh, oh just caught it. Nice <laughs> one, Sam. All right, so the interior then. Um, we, we, obviously, you've seen us driving it. I mean, it's it's very it's I say it's basic. It's not really basic. Uh, the steering wheel that I've put on it, slightly different to stock. Um, I won't. Well, yeah, you can say where it's come from. Yeah, I got it from Royal Steering Wheel. So if you want a, it's like a 350 uh, replica steering wheel. Really, really good price, and I'm not going to obviously tell you how much it is. Um, but basically, you got um, Napa lever on it. Put a flat bottom on it. Red racing stripe to go with the car. I thought it looks great. But again, this is the thing with Mustangs. You can do as little or as much as you want. So like moving on really, it's standard in here. It's, it's pretty much the same. It, like Sam mentioned, I mean, it's a lovely, you know, you can definitely tell you're in a Mustang with, you know, it's got a nice, since 1964 there. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah, um, but you know, very Ford-esque. If you've got a Ford, you'll have seen this before. 
I think these light switches come out of standard focuses and Mondeos, if you can see it over here. Just oh, yeah. about, yeah. Parts bin sort of stuff. Yeah, it's the same. What is good though down here is with the, 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 the touch screen and stuff. We've got your engine start. Love it, push button technology is amazing. Nice little pony comes on again. Um, about your dash. Yeah, I mean, the dash, what we said about this before is I love the analog state. I mean, it's all digital now on the new ones, but we've just got a little digital bit here, RPM, and I love what it says up here, ground speed. I think that's phenomenal. Yeah, can you see that? Yeah, you can just about see it. But I mean, it's standard, you know, it's a standard modern car. All your controls, cruise control, phone controls are all on your steering wheel, and you've got your standard radio controls, uh, air conditioning. And then down here, you've got a couple of toggle switches, which are quite cool. Got a mode switch so you can turn your traction control off, all that sort of stuff. Not like you'd ever want to do it in this weather. Uh, steering, you can change the, 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 the steering. Uh, track, sorry, that's the traction control, but this is a different mode, so it's like snow and wet, uh, race track and all that. And then you've got your hazards on there as well, which is really cool. This one's fitted with the Shaker Pro system, so it sounds really good. I mean, and, and that's it. One thing that I did like and laugh about it is the fact that they put their handbrake on this side. I quite like it there, because I'm a big lad anyway. But usually, if you're obviously if it's left on drive, it'd be down here. Or they just didn't bother changing it over, did they? No, nah, to be honest with you, I quite like it like that. It's out of the way, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's good. Uh, and that's really about it for the interior. It's um, in the back seats, you can see there. <laughs> what? Uh, there's no room for anyone. Yeah, to it's, it's a bit. I mean, headroom wise, it's a bit. Mm. I can't fit in the back. <laughs> can't fit in the back of my own car. Yeah. Uh, and that's it. Yeah. Cool. Very good. I mean, you could say about driving it, I mean, it's lovely to drive. It's a modern car, you know, the purists of the Mustang community. It's not left-hand drive. Uh, it's not a real Mustang. I, I kind of beg to differ because Ford made it. Uh, I could I could probably start a massive argument about this, but, you know, left-hand drive is, in, in our country, in the UK, not the best, you know what I mean? So I think what Ford did with this car and Brooke went global with it, I thought was brilliant, you know, in terms of marketing. Um, you know any of the previous model Mustangs? Mm -hmm. Do they do any of those right and drive? You can, you can convert them, I believe. I've so seen from the factory. No, no, not from the factory. It's a, Interesting. it's like an aftermarket thing. People convert them aftermarket. So, um, but this one we're sat in anyway. It's a, it's a five liter, isn't it? It's mm -hmm. not the. Not the 2.3 litre EcoBoost, is that the... Yeah, yeah. That's the right engine, isn't it? Still it, a lovely car. That, that, oh yeah, I'd, I'd have one all day long. Yeah. People get funny about it, don't they? Yeah. Like, that's not a V8, but it's still the engine from a RS Focus, so, you know, it would go well. I think they're about 300 brake horsepower, aren't they? 343. It's not so, far off, this. not far off. This is the thing, you know, you, we, we, this is what, 400 stock? 415 UK spec it is. Well, 415, 420. That's not far behind at all. No. That's still a rapid car. The, this is the Mark, if you like, this is a Mark 1 S550. Um, they facelifted it. They facelifted it and they've changed uh, a couple of things like the exhaust. Because the exhaust on this, because of the steering column, uh, the headers on this uh, are slightly restrictive. So you're only getting like 415, 420. But on the, the facelifted version, they redesigned the, uh, the sort of, the, it's still the same Coyote. Uh, they've redesigned the, um, yeah, on the pedigree. <laughs> they've redesigned the exhaust system so you're getting more through it and the intake system and all that. They've sort of, the facelift, as much as they've changed the front of it and the rear of it, they've also changed some internals. It's got a uh, virtual dashboard, Magnaflow suspension, different type of, um, I think all cars are going yeah. virtual dashboard, aren't they? Uh, personally, I don't like it. It's not my cup of tea. I prefer the analog gauges on this one um, but again you know any Mustang I'd have any Mustang if someone said to me have the and this is going to cause debate for those who do watch or keep up on the Mustangs the Mac e <laughs> the, the Mustang SUV electric oh. <laughs> it's it, look wash your mouth out I know I, look it's not a V8 it's not a muscle car it's but not a Mustang. <laughs> it's not a Mustang. It, well, it's, by name it is. And I think it's a dad wagon with a pony on the front. Ford have, have jumped on the, the branding, haven't they? Mustang, because the S550 was so popular and it's, I mean, crikey, you see Mustangs everywhere now. And that that's not necessarily a bad thing. Didn't, didn't they have a thing when this came out, or this shape model came out, mm -hmm. where even like 
year, two year old cars will work exactly the same as when they rolled off the factory because there's so much demand for them. Yeah, this this one for the first two years, I mean, you're looking there. Didn't was, appreciate it at all, did it? No, you had like an 11, 12 month waiting list for one, and um, basically that you could you could buy it, run it for a year, and sell it for the exact same price you bought it from. That's quite impressive, really, uh, because the demand was so high for them. Uh, right, so. Uh, I have to apologise about the wind, very windy, so I do apologise, so I'll shout a little bit. This is the engine base, if Sam wants to come in and plug in to get out of the wind. Uh, 416 brake horsepower, 391 pound foot of torque. Uh, as you can see, like internally, we haven't really, I haven't really done much to this. I know you can do a lot to these engine bays. Apart from? Apart from Mission Moto Cooling Header Tank, because personally I think the, um, the stock one looks like a clear, so we say men's appendage. It was crap. Yeah, it was horrible. So we've changed that. If you want to see that video, it's one of our first videos. It wasn't very good. But yeah, we've, we've changed that. We show you how to change that. So I'll put the link in the description down below. Uh, not really much to say about it, to be honest. Next, we will be doing like a cold air intake um, supercharger, maybe. You know, if I've got a spare 10 grand for a supercharger. <laughs> but you know, oh, wind. But yeah, you know, not a lot really. The thing is, with modern engines, on any modern engines now, it's just plastic. Yeah. So, you know, really good. But, I mean, it's a massive engine bay and it's full. Mm. So, yeah, happy days. Right? Yeah, nice. Cool. Ah, just keep going. Know, it? Yeah, go around by the hangar. So, yeah, the throttle, the throttle response is just like instantaneous, isn't it? It's yeah. like, got a lot of kick to it. People but keep it, asking me about turbos for these. I'm like, nah, it's it's, it's naturally aspirated. <laughs> it's sort of nice being on turbo, isn't it, I suppose? Yeah. Anyway, if you want a turbo, I can get an EcoBoost one. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Yeah, you can, uh, they do exist, so my turbo find it. Yeah, exactly, why would you want to? We might have already <laughs> talked about it. <laughs> thing is I generally this is strange it's out I don't drive with the radio on very often. Yeah. I just don't think you need to. Yeah, I can see why. Mm. They want value for money for the battery there. <laughs> you got enough room there and that. Oh yeah. I, I don't like messing with people's driving positions <laughs> but at least it's way far back. It's because I'm really tall. <laughs> Aye. Uh, the gearbox is really nice, it's just like click click. You can do it with two fingers. Is it, is it as good as a Manta? <laughs> That's up for review. We'll, um, we'll tell you about that when we do the Manta, hopefully soon. Yeah, Manta coming soon. soon. And the, we've got some loads of good stuff on the Monza coming up oh, as well. Yeah. Can't wait for that. Super oh, excited. But there's something about this one. This one. In my eyes, I think it's one of the best looking Mustangs. I think so. Um, That's not just driving it. I no. genuinely think it's a really good looking car. So much so, I mean, I don't even, I I personally don't like the, the new one. Not, I, I do like the new one, or should I say, not the new one, the facelift. Yeah. It's, it's really strange. It's it, The back of it, I really love, because it's got like the tail lights, it's got the tri-bar tail lights, but they're slightly sort of curved in. And I think that looks nice, and they've got like quad exhaust. I know you can do like a quad exhaust modification for this one, but um, and what exhaust system have you got on there? This is just, oh, the, the system's a standard system with a Roush axle back. But Sounds it's, really cool, isn't it? it? It's enough, I think. It's enough when you stomp on it, it goes. But when you don't want to stomp on it, it's it's not, not in, too loud. Yeah, it? it's not in your face. It's not annoying. I do realise these are all like good for um, 
bloopers at the end. Yeah. Minus the roof. I bet you get some good resonance. <laughs> it probably don't sound as good on camera. Whoa, that's really weird. It stopped. Oh, it's slow. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. That's right. On again. Do it. Go around that way, mate. Why not? My petrol to burn. Just yeah. go nuts. I definitely will. <laughs> oh yeah, let's let's go for a jaunt. So, yeah. 